So now we have, um, you know, in close proximity to one another. And so now we have President's Day, which is great. And it's wonderful. And we're, uh, we're uh, today, it's a Monday. You know, we got to do it on a Monday. So you get a three-day weekend out of it. You can't make it a Wednesday or something like that. Uh, so we get a three-day weekend out of it. At least uh, many, many people do. Certainly in the federal government, you get a, uh, and the district government, I guess, too, you get a three-day weekend out of it because driving in today was like a post-apocalyptic drive-in uh, with no traffic anywhere, except all the lights were red because in D.C. that's how they synchronize the lights and then they have cameras because the revenuers need to collect revenue. You know, they need to punish the uh, population and uh, not support the population. But that's, uh, they're leftists, you know, they're, they're Democrats. But it is uh, President's Day and that, you know, that uh, always brings to mind what might have been for Hillary Clinton. You got to, you know, she will never be president. She's not president. She's waking up once again on President's Day and Joe Biden is living in the White House. Can, can you imagine being Hillary Clinton who thinks she's real smart and everything? And, um, and she married Bill Clinton who treated her like, you know, you know how you, he treated her all those years. And, uh, and the whole trade-off was going to be that she's going to get to be president, right? But all she got to be was a terrible, awful, horrible, failed Secretary of State who celebrated bombing countries as a form of uh, diplomacy. You know, the Obama administration bombed more countries than any presidency since World War II, any administration since World War II. And Hillary Clinton was the chief diplomat. Remember, she celebrated Muammar Gaddafi being killed uh, and, uh, you know, brutalized and, and savaged by his own people, you know. And, uh, and now... Uh, here it is. And Joe Biden is he's in Ukraine, in Kiev. I like to call it Kiev because that's the, uh, you know, that's what it's called. So um, Joe Biden took Air Force One apparently to Poland and then he took a train. You know how he loves trains. Woo woo. He loves trains. The whole Biden family, they love trains. They love the choo-choo and going into the tunnel and, and all that stuff. The... Um, so Joe Biden arrived, uh, surprise, surprise, and they tricked everybody. They, they lied because of operational security. They had uh, Tony Blinken, uh, Stinken, and Nod on. He was on the television yesterday. And uh, the President of the United States was already in the air on Air Force One headed to Europe when Blinken and Nod told the television audience that um, uh, uh, he was not going to Ukraine. He's not going to Ukraine. And in fact, he was already en route to Ukraine. So he lied to everybody. But they'll say, well, that's because they were practicing safe OPSEC, you know, operational security. And you got to practice safe OPSEC, especially when it comes to presidential security. Hillary Clinton doesn't agree with that at the moment. But um, yeah, so Hillary Clinton woke up today. Uh, it's Monday. So once again, face down in a pool of her own dried vomit on her kitchen floor with an empty one gallon cardboard box of cheap New Zealand Chardonnay. Uh, with the Secret Service standing over her uh, with their knuckles on their belts, shaking their heads and tis tisking again. And Hillary Clinton woke up uh, once again, realizing that it's President's Day and she's still not president and she's never going to be. And just to add insult to injury, Joe Biden is president. <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd really be deflating, wouldn't it? <laughs> and uh, there, you know, there are two dates, two dates on the calendar every year that are very, very disappointing to Hillary Clinton. Very uh, heartbreakingly disappointing. I mean, wake up face down on the floor in your vomit. Disappointing. And that is President's Day, obviously, because we've already covered that. And the second one is naturally her wedding anniversary, because you can only imagine <laughs> being Hillary Clinton and the days that she does wake up next to Bill uh, looking at him. And, you know, she might just hop up on him like a jackal and pounce on his head and try to bite his nose off or something. I know a woman that did that to her husband. She's a big leftist. She tried to bite her husband's nose off while he was sleeping because he was snoring. And he has permanent dentition marks on both sides of his nose now. That's, uh, you know, it was, it was a political thing. But in any event, back to Hillary. Very, very sad day for her, uh, President's Day. But a great day for America. I'm, I'm surprised. Have the Democrats tried to cancel President's Day yet? Because you know how they hate U.S. presidents. They can make it Pol Pot Day or Joseph Stalin Day or something. They'd be more at home. Oh, speaking of which, Joe Biden. This was a great moment. And we have the audio for you. Joe Biden went out to dinner in Washington, D.C. over the weekend at a restaurant. At a restaurant. 
and he was sitting there minding his own business, looking like uh, comatose uh, Joe Biden, uh, sitting on a Ted, just a two top, because he can't even he'd get anybody to come with him. So he's at a two top, and he's getting some porridge, and he's got his spoon, and and uh, you know he's uh, sitting there minding his own business when lefties burst into the restaurant, and they're with Code Pink, Code Pink, which is a Bolshevik communist kind of organization, anti-American. They're violent. They're anarchists. Uh, and, you know, they're leftists. They're, they're the, they represent the mainstream of the Democrat Party at this point. But these lefties uh, burst into the restaurant and started yelling at them about fair play for Cuba and uh, how we need to be really good to communist Cuba because communism is good is the bottom line. And it kind of, this was shared. Who shared it over the weekend? Was it you? Was it Kevin? Somebody uh, shared it. It was you? Uh, shared the uh, the news item over the weekend on our text thread. We have text threads. Have you heard of those? Of these text threads? And uh, shared the news of Joe Biden being accosted by radical left wing lunatics yelling at him in a restaurant. He, I think, he didn't hear them because he hasn't taken the cognitive test. And they pretended to release some medical information on him last week, but it was uh, it was inadequate. Uh, let's say. Uh, but in any case, these radical left wing code pink people. Pink, you know, pinko commies, they're pinko. And uh, they're yelling at him about Cuba because they love communist Cuba, right? And, and it occurred to me that all these years later, all these years later, they're still pushing the same message that Lee Harvey Oswald was pushing. Lee Harvey Oswald, this fair play for Cuba stuff. And we're going to share the audio with you today because it's, uh, it's good stuff and it's the Democrat Party. You know how they are. They're, uh, what's the word, Michael? crazy they're crazy well you said yo neurodivergent they're also very good they're neurodivergent as well which is what stanford university prefers that we use rather than you know they no longer in vogue um what can i say it's a retard because that's what they said they put it on the stanford university put it out there i didn't they did uh and you know they're they're uh they're a major american <laughs> university so when they do it then that's how that goes so um so we got that going now, uh, Joe Biden, remember Joe, he was bragging, and I, I'm still trying to keep it straight. This morning I was watching him in uh, Kiev, which is called Kiev, as it turns out, just like the chicken dish. And uh, he was in there, and he said that he had to uh, do his gazintas, uh, like use his fingers and his toes to count on the uh, Air Force One on the way over to decide how many times he'd been to uh, Ukraine. And he said it was eight, eight times that he's been to Ukraine, eight times uh, in his lifetime. And then just a short time later, he said that, I think he said, a short time, he said that he'd been there six times in the past, and now this is his seventh time. Is that, is that what happened? I think that's what happened. Um, but, you know, uh, that's because he's neurodivergent. He's a neurodivergent person. And so we have that going for us. Um, and he, uh, he bragged, and the news media is treating him, of course, like he's Charlemagne, like he's, um, you know, the... <laughs> Like he's uh, Dwight David Eisenhower. He's, uh, he's Doug, Doug, Douglas MacArthur. He's the American Caesar because they sneaked in and apparently they flew into Poland and they took the train and they said the train ride normally from where you go is seven hours, seven hour train ride. I wonder if he brought his own favorite conductors along from Amtrak. Maybe Corn Pop was on the train with him. Who knows? Could have been a big party train like Jackie Gleason's party train, but uh, took the uh, train in. And then they had this event, and then they sat on the video for about an hour while he 